Hey KIC here, welcome to Human Resource Machine by Tomorrow Corporation. This is a brand new game releasing this week for Windows and Mac and apparently next week for the Wii U, but I don't have a Wii U so I am playing in Windows here. This is a review copy provided by the developers. This is essentially a logic game. We're just going to go ahead and jump right into the mailroom. So here we are, the employee of a corporation where we are basically sorting mail. So, welcome to your first day. You look like an excellent instruction follower. Your first job will appear over there on the right side in a moment. And remember, you can always ask for help. Actually, I haven't asked this guy for help. I'm curious what it looks like. Ah, look at that. Gives you an example. So, this is basically a game about programming. That's right. I said it's a logic game. It's a programming game because programming is all about logic. So, we're supposed to take these packages right here on the inside and we're going to move them right over here onto the outside and you do that by basically doing this inbox out box inbox out box inbox out box now i haven't played this game too far yet so i don't know how to do all of these puzzles just off the top of my head but this one it's pretty straightforward now if you have never programmed before you're probably going to be okay because the game kind of teaches you as you go along Okay, look at that, we have successfully completed the first task, so we're going to go to the elevator and head up to the next room. Now in some of these you're going to have multiple challenges that you can try and achieve a high score in. Alright, so it looks like you made it this far. Congratulations on your promotion. Many people stress out and quit before making it this far, but I can tell you have a bright future in inbox outbox management, so here's your new assignment. We are going to grab each thing from the inbox and drop each thing into the outbox. And to do that, we're going to do inbox, outbox, and we have a new command called jump. If you remember the good old days of basic, this is your go-to command. So we're going to do go to zero. And we're going to go ahead and start this guy up. And we can go ahead and speed this up just a little bit here. You can see it's going to go ahead and dump everything in there. We can speed it up a little bit more. Basically, every time it hits number one, it goes to number two, and it bounces to number three, and it goes back to number zero, and goes straight to number one. So there you go. That's how we're doing the busy mailroom year number two. All right, we can go up to the next floor. Good deal. Let's go to the copy floor. Okay, a little different. We have stuff on the floor now. Oh, no. The inbox conveyor system is completely broken. Well, that's inconvenient. That doesn't mean we get to take a break from work. Of course it doesn't. So ignore the inbox for now and just send the following three letters to the outbox. B-U-G, bug. Facilities management staff has placed some items over there on the carpet for you. If only there were a way you could pick them up. Well, we do have this brand new command here called copy from. We don't want the inbox, so I suspect we're going to do copy from B. That's going to go to G, or outbox rather. Then we'll probably need to do that one there and go to the outbox. And we'll need to do one more. Did I choose B the first time? I sure hope I did. We're going to find out very quickly if I didn't. There we go. There's bug. Or buh. And guh. There we go. We got bug. So that is apparently copying from the floor. Thus, copy floor. Got it. That, that makes sense. Good. Scrambler Handler. Let's go on to the next one. You know, I'm going to take a look here when we get through this one, assuming I am not completely incompetent. We'll see how many levels there are. Conveyor system is fixed. Hooray! And just in time for you to get to work. Good. The data won't collate itself. So we have a new one. Copy 2. I'm going to go ahead and say that copies from whatever your... I guess from wherever to the floor. So the, grab the first two things from the inbox and drop them into the outbox in the reverse order. Repeat until the inbox is empty. You get a new command. Feel free to copy to wherever you like on the carpet. It will be cleaned later. So we want the first two things from the inbox and drop them in the outbox in reverse order. So that would mean we want to go inbox, copy to the floor, inbox, outbox, copy from the floor, and jump to the beginning. Right? I hope. We're going to find out very quickly here. So there's seven. You're going to get one now. Nope. That's going to break. I I did that wrong. 
Yeah, let's start over again. That's what happens when you screw up. So I want to do... Okay, what did I miss? Copy from needs an outbox command. That's what we need. There we go. So we're going to copy to the floor. We're going to go to the outbox. We're going to copy from the floor and go to the outbox. And then back to the inbox, to the floor, from the inbox, to the outbox, from the floor to the outbox. Wow, okay. That shows you how easy it is to miss one simple command and that'll screw everything up. Okay, we're not doing too badly so far. I screwed that one up a little bit. Let's just, oh, coffee time. That's, I can't resist coffee time. I actually don't like coffee, but let's check out coffee time. Those are some interesting looking people. I love it. I guess maybe that's going to come up later. I, I don't know. You know, I'm just going to mention one thing right quick here. If you've ever played World of Goo, that's where I know these developers from. That's a pretty interesting game. Really polished. So that's one of the reasons I was excited to play this one. I really liked that game. It was a lot of fun. Ugh. Welcome to my personal rain cloud. I was never very good at math since I have only three fingers on... Look at that. He only does have three fingers on his hand, but looks like this dude only has two. I don't know. Anyway, you don't actually need to know very much about math to complete these assignments. Okay, so for each two things in the inbox, add them together and put the result in the outbox. We have a new command. It adds the contents of a tile on the floor to whatever value you are currently holding. So we are going to go inbox, copy to the floor, Inbox, add from the floor, outbox, jump. Let's see if that works. So, okay, inbox to the floor, going to copy. We're going to go to outbox. And I hope that was correct. We're going to find out very quickly here if I am supposed to put something else in the outbox. All right, looks good. Let's go ahead and zoom through the end of it. Not too bad. Six commands. I guess I'll take it. Presence is requested on the next floor. Okay, so it looks like we can actually go a couple of different directions here. Let's, uh, let's go to zero exterminator. That's number seven, it says. Where do you see yourself in five years? Or ten years? I have a note from your other boss that says, from this point on, your performance will be evaluated with extra scrutiny. Okay, what a treat. Send all the things that are not zero to the outbox. You got a new command. It jumps only if the value you are holding is zero. Otherwise, it continues to the next line. Okay, so we don't want anything that is a zero in the outbox. That means that... Hmm, okay, so we're going to go inbox. We need to do that. And we need to end in the outbox, and we need to jump to some point. So, I think what we do is this. I think? Is that too easy? So we're going to go inbox, pick it up. If it's not zero, go to the outbox, and then go back to the beginning. Okay. Let's try that. I, I have a really good habit of overcomplicating things. So, oh yeah, that's looking good. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> ah, man, sometimes dumb luck is good. Oh, look at that. So now we have new challenges for these. So use four or fewer commands. I did. Complete in 23 or fewer steps. I did, holy cow. Uh, that's an interesting note. These challenges can be very difficult and in many cases not possible to optimize both simultaneously with one solution. Oh, that's curious. I'm not entirely sure what that would mean then. I, I think that's pretty interesting. That means that you gotta basically do things multiple times to figure it out if that's the case. Wow. 
Okay, well that's cool. That adds a little replayability and it gives you some different things to kind of shoot for. Do you want to go for efficient code or do you want to go for number of steps? I'm just thinking about it here. I'm thinking, how is it that they're not related? I don't know. I guess I haven't seen enough of the game. Anyway, we have a new boss type person. Who are you? This optional area is for high-performing employees only. Is that you? Well, you're late. Seven, <laughs> seven years late. Wow. Seven years late. That's pretty terrible. We need to change some things around here. I want to see a 100% performance increase. From this point on, your performance will evaluate with extra scrutiny. For each thing in the inbox, triple it. And outbox the result. Self-improvement tip. Where are we going with this? Please leave the high-level decisions to management. So we definitely need inbox. We definitely need outbox. And we need a jump at some point. I suspect we'll need a copy too. And maybe a second one over here. So in... Oh, and then we need... Um, hmm. We can do an add there. And then we can do an add... Nope. Let's uh, change that to that one. Let's try that out. So we've added. I guess that worked. Okay. It's looking like it's okay. All right. Got through this one. Good. Tripler room. Oh, I... Okay. Oh, hmm. Okay. So I used one too many commands, and that ended up giving me an extra four steps. Okay, let's go back and take a look at this. So, okay, we have inbox, copying to the floor, copying to the floor, adding, adding, outbox, and jump. So... For each thing in the inbox, triple it. Okay, so we put it on the floor. Why are we putting... Okay, hold on, hold on. I got it, I got it, I got it. Let's, um, let's do this. So we're going to put it on from the inbox to the, f the floor. We're going to add it two times, because that's going to add it with what I'm carrying here. Outbox and then jump. Is that right? So there's one... There's two, which is effectively tripling it. Ah, look at that. I am either smart or dumb and lucky. Take your pick. Look at that. We're going to add zero three times because, well, two times because we can. That right there is a quick look at Human Resource Machine. I think I might play a little more of this. I'm enjoying the challenge, or at least the idea of logic and trying to figure some of this stuff out. I... I like me a good logic puzzle. So I'm going to continue on to the elevator. If you'd like to see more of this, let me know. Like I said, I, I might end up playing a little more just because I like me a good puzzle game. And you know what? Here, let me just go back. Oh. Okay, wait a minute. I'm curious of something. Why, why do I only have two dots on this one? I don't see a better way to do this one. Or one dot, rather. I'm not understanding that one. I don't know why that is. Can I not get three or fewer commands? Oh. 25 or fewer steps. How do you do fewer steps? I don't know how you do that. That... Oh, look at that. You can have different codes. Oh, that is so cool. Look at that. So you could do a different one over here, so you could have your efficient code over here and your efficient steps over here. I wonder, is it because you do something like this? I'm not sure. Maybe this is the way you do a lot of, a lot of code for not a lot of steps. Does that make sense? I don't know. That that doesn't seem like that would work. I'm confused. So here we have that example of a, what I was saying that 
apparently you can have one thing it's not the same as the other. Well, that was 23 steps, I think. Definitely not three or fewer commands. No, no, no. 20 steps. Oh, look at that. Well, that was the trick. Good. Well, there you go. Like I said, I'm going to go ahead and... Yeah, that's right. Light that dot up. I want to see both of them. Thank you very much. I'm going to go ahead and play a little more. So if you want to see a little more of this game, do let me know. But take a look. All the information is going to be in the video's description. Wow, look at that. There are a lot of levels. I said I'd do this earlier and I didn't. So I thought I should take care of that. But this is Human Resource Machine. I will see you on another one. So till then, thanks for watching. Man, look at that. There are a lot of levels. That's... Oh, man. My brain's going to hurt. See you later.